what's up guys welcome back to another video this is another basketball reaction and it's from nin lai i've never known how to pronounce his name but this this guy's channel was actually my first ever like on my first ever video reaction on this channel and i've like whenever i learn a new sport he's he was always the first guy i went to to learn the rules and like the bare bones of the sport the bare basics sorry so yeah this guy's this child's channel is definitely not new to me but this video i'm intrigued in seeing what this is about and this is a bit like unique i've never really done a video like this focused on british basketball but the title intrigues me and it is why british basketball sucks united kingdom nin explains i'm not too sure the only real explanation i can have because I feel like the US and the UK are pretty similar in certain aspects. and But like for that reason, it, it sort of intrigues me as to why the UK is so far behind in certain things. I say far behind, but like just not there compared to the US. And even like countries like France, like they produce by like pretty solid basketball players like Rudy Gobert, etc. And the UK, I don't know any, I can't spring to mind any basketballers at all. And there may be one or two that have been in the past that have like, that are somewhat known for being good, but I don't know... For someone who's British, I don't know any basketballers who have made it into the NBA, which intrigues me as to why. And I'm, I guess we'll see in this video why that's the reason. The only real sort of reasoning I can have is, I guess, because of soccer, because it's such a big sport here, maybe. It just sort of, because basketball was played a lot. Don't get me wrong. Like, in my local park, every day, people are playing basketball. So, like, it's not like it's not played here. I just, I, I, I am intrigued as to why it's not the case but we'll see in this video quickly i just wanted to shout out to my twitch i've never streamed before but i've made an account for people who are interested in seeing streams i'm probably going to do games like i'm going to learn 2k my first stream is going to be playing the game for the first ever time and just things like that if you're interested in that that's just for you guys obviously that's not for everyone but i'll leave that link in the description if you do want to follow because i'm going to stream hopefully in the next few days i'm pretty sure i'm going to do it like within two or three days maybe even like, tomorrow but i'm not too sure yet Let's get into this video. I do a long ass intro. I'm sorry for that. Let's just see why. Why this is the case. Why this title is what it is. Nin explains why basketball in the United Kingdom sucks. You're crapping on another sport? <laughs> no, I'm just presenting the facts as they are. But some of you are far too sensitive to handle the truth. Which wow, he's sh sending shots already. Snowflakes. I thoroughly believe the UK could, if they wanted to, create a culture of basketball similar to that of football and rugby mm. and yet they don't 100%. basketball is very much a minority sport over here even though basketball facilities are literally everywhere and it's not as if they've had no history of it basketball was introduced to britain by the americans shortly after its creation Okay, and there are uniquely different reasons as to why basketball in the UK sucks. I'm really intrigued actually Before to see explain, what this is about. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell Shout to see my new videos. Man. You know the drill. Bang videos. Explanations Let are me class. tell you what the problem isn't. The problem is not due to lack of awareness or lack of participation. Basketball has more regular participants than sports such as cricket, wow. tennis and golf. I didn't even realise that. It's one of the sports that's on the national curriculum. That's true. We did. We used to play this in our school for like, I don't know what you call it in the US. We call it PE, I guess, physical education. I guess it's the same thing. But we played that. So it's not like it's not played here. And in my school, there was basketball facilities. Like there was four different halls with basketball courts. So it is actually intriguing so, as to why. unless your school doesn't have the facilities, you are forced to play basketball at a high school level as mandated by the government. You literally have no choice. That's true. Therefore, most people in the UK have played basketball that is very true, at some point in their lives. And the problem isn't lack of facilities either. Unlike ice hockey, where there's shamefully only 56 rinks in the wow, entire country, I didn't even realize that. finding basketball facilities very is easy. easy. There are outdoor hoops, indoor leisure centres, and schoolyard courts in literally every town and city. Because the thing is with basketball courts, I don't know if it's the same in the US, but our basketball courts are literally, so we'll have a soccer court, like a street soccer court on the concrete, and on the soccer court we'll have a basketball court as well. It's literally like interchangeable. So it, it like it's again, we've got the facilities. Country, and most of them are free to use. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. Also, unlike ice hockey, like local it's park. cheap sport to get into. Mm. Just buy a ball, find a hoop, and you're good to go. Literally. We also have televised games, a top league, and a national team. So if I didn't has realize all that. This, what seems to be the problem? Well, problem number one: no culture. No culture. Traditional English sports such as football and rugby are ingrained into the culture of British society. Kids play them at school. Parents take kids to the games. 
grandparents watch it on TV, and your friends all play or watch these sports. This does not exist for basketball. There is no basketball culture in Britain. What I would say about basketball, it's, it's not a young sport, but in the UK, it's like the young, the younger generation are sort of a lot more interested in it, which is probably why it's a, like, I, th I think it's the, sec like the first or second fastest growing sport. So I do think over time it's going to become that. Because again, I feel like most, I say most young people, but younger people compared to the older people in general, not all the time, because there's cases that older people are also interested in the sport. But it's a lot like, in the UK, the younger people seem a lot more interested than the older people. And I feel like it's going to grow like as they pass on to new generations. And unfortunately, nothing is being done to change that. With better participation levels, television coverage, and a decent national team. Television coverage is matters. definitely true. But as it stands, football and rugby are still king. But I don't know, Problem rugby two, isn't really no as big here as people say it. I mentioned earlier that it's mandatory to play the sports at high school, and that's fine. But what happens after that? Can you play this at college or university? Are there recreational teams and leagues that you can join once you reach 16? I don't think is there, there is, actually. I'm not too sure. To get you to the top level? Nobody really knows, as it differs between areas of the country. Mm. What doesn't help is that professional teams barely have academies that give kids a chance to play. And the governing bodies are doing next to nothing to change that. When the American NBA is doing more to fund and create leagues for kids in Britain Wait, than Britain's actual governing body, is that the case? you know you're in trouble. God damn! In fairness to the NBA, they're smart enough to realise the untapped potential that the UK has for... Fair play, play, that is wild! They've thrown money at Britain to make it happen. But they can't do it by themselves, and they won't fund it forever. Mm. When the head of the BBL has openly admitted to doing a terrible job of developing the sport, it's hard to argue against. That's and very three, intriguing. People being lured away by football and rugby. When you he keeps saying rugby. I don't know this. Like rugby is a sport in the UK that's played a lot more in like private schools. It's not a sport that people just go out and play. Like I don't know anyone who plays. I know one person who plays a sport, and he's just a big guy. Like I don't know many people. So this rugby comparison, I don't necessarily agree with. The football one is fair, or the soccer is fair, because. Everyone plays. <clears throat> everyone plays it here, as if like people who do it in the US with basketball. But like this rugby allure, I feel like more. I see more people playing basketball, like on in the parks, than rugby. Of course, you're not gonna play rugby on the con in, on concrete like courts, etc. But still, not athletically gifted, football and rugby offer significantly better pathways. But there is pathways, I guess, for rugby. Basketball. That's the and show. A professional football or rugby player is a much more attractive option given that they're the highest paid athletes in the country. You could be signed up to an academy by the age of nine and can be quote unquote compensated, mm. but not officially paid because that would be illegal, to commit your future to this illegal- Money and football soccer football is bad team. for young players Most especially. Most kids would jump at the chance for this. And obviously, teams want to protect their investment. So there are strict rules about playing other sports, i.e. you can't. This leaves kids who are athletically gifted and more suited to basketball not even being able to pick up a ball. Wow. Because they signed a deal that prevents them from doing so. <laughs> but when God there's more damn, they're treating like fucking sports, assets. Would these kids I mean, actually I care? The answer That's... is probably not. Problem that is four, crazy. Awful top league. The UK has its own version of the NBA called the British Basketball League. I didn't even it's know that. It's been around for a while, and believe it or not, it used to be pretty good. During the UK basketball boom of the 1990s, professional teams were raking it in. Playing in NBA-style arenas with quality players, televised games, and an increased demand for the sport at every level, basketball had never been so popular. This is the 1999-2000 Manchester Giants, playing in an 18,000-seat stadium on primetime Sky TV wow. and winning the BBL championship watched by millions. That team was coached by Nick Nurse. Yes, the same Nick Nurse that has just led the Toronto Raptors Wait, to what? the NBA title. Okay, this, this is a crazy... I... I'm just going to leave this here for a second. That is wild. Oh, how sweet it is. So it shows, later, like... This is the Manchester Giants now. Oh playing my Playing their games God. in what you Americans call the local YMCA <laughs> in front of crowds of about a hundred. That's crazy how it's been backwards. And nobody in Manchester knows they even exist, let alone care that they now play their games in a leisure centre. 
money. So how did it all go horribly wrong? The simple answer is money. The BBL lost its title sponsors and TV rights, which was a significant portion of its income. That means that teams were suddenly earning a lot less. These teams then couldn't afford to pay decent players anymore and replace them with lower quality players. With a poorer standard of play, the spectators stopped showing up, which forced them to move to cheaper and crappier facilities, Man. thus making watching games an even more unattractive option. <laughs> the primetime televised game stopped completely, and with dwindling crowds and no coverage on terrestrial TV, this vicious circle has carried on until the present day. It's crazy how that can go backwards, because I mean, no, no other basketball league is going to compete with the US from now on. I feel like the NBA cemented itself forever being the biggest basketball league but the fact that it's went backwards like say these 20 years because that like that 1999 clip it looks pretty like it didn't look like there was no like there seemed to be like a sort of atmosphere i say atmosphere i didn't hear what was going on but just you saw it and it just seemed like like it was a big event that other one you just it looks like a, not even a college basketball game in the u.s it looks just like a sort of a game that you go with your family just to like sort of watch your brother play or just something like that. It didn't look like an event. And it's just like, bro, how a sport can go backwards so much in the UK like that is absolutely hey. insane. Professional I've never heard of this league. Anybody who will work for peanuts. And nobody wants to pay good money to watch fourth rate supposedly professional basketball being played out of a local rec center when they can easily watch the NBA. Exactly. Free. This is how it's all gone so wrong so quickly. That is wild. Football number five barely a national team and the government. Despite its problems, the UK has produced decent NBA-worthy talent. Okay. Ben Gordon, Luol Deng, Joel Freeland, OG Anunobi, John Amici, Michael Oluwakandi. Okay, he's a bad example. But the point is that Britain produces some excellent basketball talent. I guess they so go to the US why is the early. national team so bad? Possibly. Most of the aforementioned players had to leave the UK in order to develop their talents. Exactly, in the man, that's... But most of the national team doesn't have that luxury. When you've got players who barely earn money rotting away in a league that isn't exactly pro, you've got a limited pool of players to choose from. The government's stance on sports funding is simple. We'll only give you money if you win big. The only reason that Great Britain had a basketball team in the 2012 Olympic Games try and win. is because they hosted the damn event and oh qualified by the God. Predictably, both the men's and women's team got blown out repeatedly. The government deemed the Olympic basketball teams to be complete failures, prompting them to withdraw its funding from the sport of basketball. Wow, man. Typical British government logic. <laughs> you suck at a sport, so instead of us giving you money to improve, We'll take it away, and you can be even more of an embarrassment on the international stage. Our government is an well absolute done, government. Joke. Well done. Boris Johnson. It's gone so bad that the national teams almost withdrew indefinitely, simply because they couldn't afford to play. That is insane. When Britain's best player is advocating people to leave in a sport that's growing faster than I, I think. Again, I think it's the fastest growing sport, or the second fastest growing sport. Surely the UK should be, or not the UK, in this case, England should be doing, actually no, it is the UK, so the whole of the UK should be doing more to try and grow with the sport. But it's like they're just cutting back and cutting back. This is astonishing. Country and play in the United States instead, that pretty much says it all. Exactly, it's, he's right though. Problem number six, false promises. Wouldn't it be nice to have a true British NBA equivalent? Primetime TV, <laughs> big man. game players academy, culture, and basketball everywhere. One person promised all of that. Enter Ron Scott, an American businessman who founded the British Basketball Association, which was to rival the BBL and blow it completely out of the water. He promised big time players, lucrative TV and sports BC sport, deals, big, big capacity crowds at world-class arenas channel. and millions of dollars being thrown at it to make professional basketball Man. as big as professional rugby and teams would be in major big time profits. Sounds pretty good, right? The news sent the media into a frenzy and Ron Scott was seen promoting this new league on TV, on the internet, on social media, and this sent shockwaves throughout the entire basketball world. This would have been insane. Oh my goodness, this is actually going to happen. This amazing all singing, all dancing basketball what went wrong? was slated to come to play wrong? in 2006. Then in 2011, and by 2016, nothing happened. 
They Man. branded themselves as the Premier League of Basketball. Presumably because the BBL and possibly the NBA would sue them mercilessly over the name. Oh wow. But this choice is even worse because they'd be sued by these guys instead. This new okay, that's not good comes with even Premier League. more money, bigger TV deals, larger crowds at bigger stadiums, and they were meant to commence play in 2016. Man. Four years later, and still, still nothing. Come happened. on. Ron Scott is either a very poor con man or the world's best procrastinator. Because if you spend some time doing the research and read the online articles, and I highly recommend that you do, everything about him and his fictional organization is a sham. <laughs> Terribly organized, the finances man, don't add false up, promises, promises that never came to fruition, and the funniest thing of all, his London-based head office is actually a card shop on Wardour Street. <laughs> <laughs> this, apparently, is going to be the home to a league that's as good as the NBA. God's sake. Are you serious? Sadly, he's not the first person, and won't be the last, to promise sweeping reforms to the sport of basketball in this country. Let's face facts. British basketball is in more trouble now than it's ever been. Man. It's in significantly worse shape than ice hockey and American football, even though significantly more people play it. The rest of Europe doesn't crazy. have these problems, and competitions such as Eurobasket proves that with excellent organisation, TV coverage, funding, a clear structure, and developed culture, that basketball can thrive in... Exactly, any because league. countries like Lithuania, Turkey, Spain, they have, like, they, like, they've got, like, some, like, they're known, like, in Europe. Like, I know the Real Madrid have a very, very good basketball team, and I know Lithuania is just basketball crazy turkey fenerbahce they have some insane fans like turkish fans are wild so there's there's like there is like an opportunity there but i guess just like the uk it's just like we're trying to be different i don't really understand but also like if there's there's a market the market is there's there's a lot of people in the uk that play basketball i don't know anyone who's played ice hockey and this isn't a shot ice hockey because i'd love that to get big in the uk i've never seen anyone play ice hockey here and i've never seen anyone play like American football either and I'm like I see people playing basketball every single day when I go to the park like people play it as much on courts as soccer so it's like it's just like if you match how because like like England are failing in on the soccer level like internationally we don't get any success so it's just like why is that only like why if, if we're failing in soccer but we're fa also failing in basketball is the sort of the they want they still want to pump money into soccer but with basketball it's just taking less out taking less out until our professional level just completely dies and i'm just like what there's people who play this sport every day it's it's pretty interesting how i guess it is some sort of corruption that they just want to again put money in certain certain like aspects of sport but because it's an excellent sport it is it's incredible there's no reason why britain can't be just as good as anyone else like of course 70 when million people like here Lithuania are embarrassing you in front of the world <laughs> It's time to do something about They are a Will they crazy actually? country. That remains to be seen. If you've enjoyed this man. video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Shout out to this guy, man. Another banging video. I do enjoy how he does his, how he does his videos. But this is a very, very intriguing. It was a bit different. This may not be for everyone. But for me personally, I've learned, I learned, I learned, I've learned a lot here. But it, just, it does intrigue me as to why the government are so against funding a sport that's so world-renowned and it's growing. And we have a lot of people who play it. It's just like, man come on like we're funding sports like rugby and again i don't have anything against rugby but or in even cricket no one goes to watch cricket games like it's barely anyone goes apart from when it's international and it's just like and i'm probably offending a lot of british people here because again there is people who do like the sports but for someone like me i've never seen anyone who plays cricket i've never seen anyone who plays rugby other than my, other than my one friend i see people playing basketball every single day it's just like where's the where's the correlation it's like we're trying to be ultra british with the culture we can't let another culture come into our country it's weird it's kind of like how the u.s i uh, say the u.s were with soccer i know soccer is now growing in the u.s a lot i would love that for the uk man i would absolutely love that let's look at the comments because i do really in get intrigued by that sounds like basketball in britain is like rugby in the u.s that's a point as well but rugby in the uk again it's not a small sport but it's not a sport that that's played by a lot of people until it's professional like yeah, it's, it's it's weird. It's a weird difference. This sounds like the MLS in its first fifteen years. That's a very good point. That's a very good point, actually. 
But this was a good video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. It's a bit different again. But yo, also remember if you want to watch me stream and learn playing games and just talking to you like over live stream. My link's in the description to my Twitch. But I'll see you guys next time. Like, subscribe. Peace.